Kenya loses an average of 50,000 hectares of forest every year, according to the Nairobi-based World Agroforestry Institute. It's a trend seen worldwide. Take, for example, in 2021, the world lost about 11.1 million hectares of forest. That's globally. That is about, if you want a sense of it, that's about 25 football fields per minute being lost. Um, of that 11.1 million hectares, Africa lost 4.4 million hectares. That's a large share of that loss. Kenya has set an ambitious target to grow its forest cover from the current 12% to 30% by planting 15 billion trees between now and 2030. To improve the tree survival rate, Kenyan scientists have created a mobile application dubbed Jazamiti, meaning fill with trees in Swahili. The Kefri app or the Jazamiti app comes in as a result of many years of research at the Kenya Forestry Institute from the breeders, the physiologists, plant ecologists, the forest health specialists, soil a cell specialist because it's a total it's a total product of all these disciplines so that uh, for us to be able to tell the public this tree grows well here the application which currently has information on 94 tree species helps tree growers identify the right species to plant within a given geographical location so if you're in a given location you can just download the app uh, search your location and you can see the correct species that can grow within that specific uh, area. The government says it will provide seeds under the Jaza Miti initiative. The government of Kenya has launched a program to distribute 1,000 tons of seedlings of seeds to 18 seed centers established by the Kenya Forest Research Institute throughout the country. After more than three decades of research, Njuguna yeah, yeah, is optimistic. This app will help every tree grower to choose the species for their site so that they don't get frustrated growing trees that will not do well or die in a few years' time. Agriculture, logging, and a need for fuel are the main sources of deforestation in Kenya and Africa. Experts say technologies to help improve forest cover are one way to create a green pathway into the future. All of the things that we are doing, the Green Tree Commodities Initiative that we are trying to do, the Trees Adapt Initiative that we are moving forward with, uh, you know, apps like Jazamiti, things like that should really come to a point where they are supporting a pathway for people to benefit from trees economically, environmentally, culturally, their livelihoods. Without making that connection, I don't think that we will be able to reverse the situation on the continent. While technologies like Jazamiti app can help grow trees, deforestation remains a major challenge. Juma Majanga for VOA News, Nairobi.